We're about to share some of the lessons with you. And then uh, there's a fun story that we got kicked out of a gas station. Because I feel like sometimes the fear is actually doing it around the people that you know. Well, I mean, mine is both. Mine is recording in public <laughs> just, with people I don't know. It's your fear. And then, so it's very interesting, right? And yeah. I think it's a good exercise to step outside of your comfort zone, which is where growth is at the end of the day. Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back to Content is Profit. We oh, yeah. are back in Jacksonville. Let's go. Where were we, Fonzie? <laughs> we are back from Boise, Idaho. We went That's right. on an adventure, I, and I think it paid off multiple times. I know. Times. It's so, so it good. It was amazing. Yes, yeah, Fonzie. So we'll tell you a little bit about that trip that we just had. Uh, it was work. It was family. It was mastermind. It was a bunch of stuff. It was a test, an experience that we did that we're about to share some of the lessons with you. Yeah. And then uh, there's a fun story that we got kicked out of a gas station. Not kicked out of a gas station. They told us to stop recording in a gas station. Yeah, <laughs> but yeah. anyways, a little bit of everything today and uh, gearing up for this week. So if you're listening, this is why we skipped. Kind of like we took a day break because uh, the kid traveling with kids a little, little, <laughs> little crazy. <laughs> All right. Ready, Fonzie? <laughs> Why are you looking at me like yeah, that? Yeah, let's do it. Let's just do it. <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's just go for it. Let's go for it. We've got some hey, this is Luis. And this is Fonzie. And welcome to the Content is Profit podcast. And I forgot the intro. <laughs> <laughs> in here, you're going to learn the insights, accountability, and drive to create consistently and increase your revenue. You'll, You'll hear, hear from, from top entrepreneurs, entrepreneurs, creators, and everything and anything in between. Why you need to know about content. Hold this will have a good time. Wow, the lost. goal of this podcast is simple. Entertain, educate, and turn your content into profit. <laughs> that is right. Let's go. Wow. I totally forgot we we're doing the podcast and all of a sudden I'm like, oh no, I don't have the intro pulled up. Yes. I, I mean, but, hey, we, we it's did. Okay. You got to roll with the punches. We had like a nine hour trip yesterday with two kids, mm. my mother-in-law, my wife, Fonzie's girlfriend, all in our airplane. So clearly, you know, our head might be a little bit about to explode right now. It's a little cloud up there but it's okay we're here we're here with a commitment this is a testament of moving forward regardless (laughs) of the mistakes i know just do it yeah and behind camera as i told fancy you know maybe we publish this on tuesday morning but no but this episode is going out today on monday maybe a little bit later but we are here committed to you the listeners the ones that are coming every monday wednesday and friday to listen to this episode so thank you so so much that is right so what can you expect in the next couple of episodes we're gonna share with you a few of the lessons that we learned in boy see right we were there not just for pleasure but we were there actually for an event to connect with incredible entrepreneurs yeah. and we were actually testing a possible new <laughs> form of content as well i know a teaser alert uh, we were part of a million dollar mastermind which we did not know that we we're gonna go show up so <laughs> we'll share that story in a second which was great and uh yeah there were some lessons in there we actually had a really really cool conversation with uh, an entrepreneur speaker that's about to launch something super Super cool, and uh, we're gonna share the the tease on that. So, absolutely. So, let's start with the quick story that you loved that <laughs> this happened, right? First of all, let's share what was the experiment, real quick. We're gonna deep, uh, deep diver, dive deeper, <laughs> deep diver, <laughs> deep diver, dive deeper into it in the upcoming episodes. Yeah. But what was it that we we're trying to do? What happened in this place, and maybe what was the quick. Yeah lesson that we learned at that moment yeah absolutely but before we go there right like we wh- why were we in boise what's happening in boise idaho right like we were supposed to do a book launch over there that got moved a week before to tampa uh florida which is what we were last week uh but the book was stripped for like three months so uh, the whole family was coming we were <laughs> meeting out there with uh, katie's sister mm. so we decided to go either way and be like okay well let's work uh, let's work out of a coffee shop like we always do. We did find a coffee shop, which was awesome. Delicious. Um, delicious. Delicious. Uh, white Blonde was the, the drink I had. It was great. <laughs> but anyways. And, tangent uh, alert. Tangent alert, yes. But at the same time, there was a ClickFunnels inner circle going on. We are, full disclosure, we are not part of the inner circle. We are part of the coaching program, but we're not part of that group. But we have a lot of friends who are part of the inner <laughs> circle. Thanks yeah. to what? Thanks to the podcast. The podcast, that's right, your six-figure platform. <laughs> yeah, so we were able to connect with a bunch of those, a, a bunch of the previous guests, our friends. We had dinners. We were able to be part of a speaker engagement that they were in there and a lot of experiences, which yeah, we're going to They actually invited us to an aftermind that wasn't part of the event at all. Yeah, Somebody yeah. put this together. 
and they're like, hey, Biz Bros, you guys want to come and join the Aftermind and, you know, brainstorm breakthroughs for your business? We're yeah. like, uh, say no more. We'll be there. Say no more. <laughs> we'll be there. And, uh, you know, with that said, obviously, this is an opportunity that came because we were able to build a lot of relationships with the platform, with our podcast, mm -hmm. right, which is what we say 24-7 <laughs> and one of the high value points of, like, why you should be building or why – not should I, I i'm gonna take the words from brian you should not do this if you want to do this go do it but it's a lot of benefits from building something like this including you know being part of events yeah. in person like that that can create a lot of momentum quick tanya like why shouldn't you use the word the word should because it kind of like creates an an, obli an obligation a yeah. feeling yeah. I, it puts a weight on top of you like oh i should do this instead of you know what i want to do this yes i'm yes. gonna go ahead and just do it Thank you. All right, Fun close parentheses. All right, sweet. So, uh, you know, on the event, we'll talk more about that on the next episode, right? Because that, mm -hmm. that's what we did. But there was like this new concept of content that we've been playing with for a long time. You know, in my head, I we've go been playing with in our minds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So <laughs> in, in our heads, we go in the future like 10, you know, 10 years or so. And uh, the big goal that I keep sharing everybody and, uh, and Fonzie, every time I share it, he looks at me like, oh my gosh, I can't believe why are you going to do that? But um, it's a show called The Sports of Entrepreneurship, right? They're original idea right was why are you looking at me like know, that you share about it i'm just listening i feel like you're judging me i'm not judging you <laughs> <laughs> okay i just, so, just said to see what you're gonna share <laughs> <laughs> the original idea was to actually launch a sister show like a podcast right called the sports of entrepreneurship and do something very very similar that we do with continuous profit in there now uh, we've been diving a lot into YouTube and learning a lot. We are consumers of YouTube. We just listened to Daryl Eves, for example, and Fun Hiking Live. Um, when we came back, we're like, well, what if, right, we start testing like we did with Content Profit in the podcasting world, another type of show on YouTube platform. So we just needed an excuse or like a, a theme to this thing in our heads to, to put it out there. So one of the things that we personally wanted to do as well is create these monthly experiences just for a private life slash business life, right? Uh, whether that's a trip to somewhere, whether that's, uh, you know, doing a, an activity that you normally wouldn't do. And then we're like, okay, how can we mix that experience with a sport of entrepreneurship, right? A lot of our friends, a lot of the people that we meet because of the podcast are amazing entrepreneurs, right? And then we mix that with content as well so we can create YouTube-specific content. You know, we've debriefed this multiple times on the show where a podcast, you know, it, you can publish on YouTube, but it might not be like 100% optimized for that platform. Yeah, I think you need very good editing. I mean, besides the obvious skills, good storytelling, a great topic, you know, being niched down, all that stuff. I think you need really good editing to keep people engaged visually. Yeah, absolutely. So, you know, you guys know that we run the podcast live, Minimal Friction, because we are high frequency and we're putting the content out there. We're putting a lot of love and you'll see different type of footage in the, in the, in the future, things that are coming that we're leveling up. But, you know, that in the past preventing us from publishing. So we're like, okay, on YouTube, what about we do this concept where we have a couple of trips planned out, right? The first one was Tampa for CHI's, uh, Chet Holmes International's book launch with Ultimate Sales Machine. So we did go there and we recorded some stuff, right? And then we ended up in Boise next to a lot of people from the inner circle and click funnels. These are people that have amazing businesses, right? And we're going to go with our family. So we're like, okay, we have this very amazing opportunities to go out, record, document, see what happens and create this new framework for the YouTube show called Sport of Entrepreneurship. So that's the whole background story on like why we were recording <laughs> in public uh, in Boise and in Tampa. So well, and to level up to the recording skills, you know, we've recorded 300 episodes inside of a studio and it's a lot of fun and we love it. But I feel it's a totally different skill to do it out in public. You get nervous. Yeah. You get sweat. The sweaty pits yeah. are back. So, so here's the concept, right? The concept is we we ended up purchasing two cameras that are vlogging cameras, right? And uh, we love all the tech and stuff. By the way, don't get hung up on the tech. <laughs> uh, but we ended up getting these cameras. And we're like, okay, now we need to practice the fact that we are going to be recording out mm. in public in the wild, right? You're going to be holding this thing in front of you, in your face, and you're going to be talking to a mic like a crazy person, right? <laughs> uh, maybe. Or maybe documenting what something that Fonsi is doing. Maybe he's documenting something that I'm doing. Uh, and we're still trying to figure out what that format looks like. But part of it is being a camera in public with out out there, right? So the I think was it the first morning we go we pull up to the coffee shop. Next to it, there was a this gas station called Maverick. <laughs> and uh, through the window, we see this um, ski person or like a person in a kayak. Or it was like a mannequin that was hanging from the ceiling. 
And after we end up working, we're like, hey, Fonzie, let's let's go to the gas station. I really want to see the, the freaking mannequin on the in the roof. And we're like, what a great opportunity to go record and document the experience of us walking to <laughs> this gas station. So literally, this was like the first moment that we actually grabbed these cameras and uh, try to record something outside of the safe environment of people that we knew or the podcast, right? So we walk in there. And Fonz is choosing a, a milkshake, and he grabs a milkshake and puts it in the machine, and we're recording, and we're laughing, we're having a good time. And all of a sudden, this lady comes in, and he's like, hey, guys, are you guys with Maverick? And we're like, wait, what, what is she talking about? Are you guys with the gas station? And, and we're like, no, no, we're not with, <laughs> with, the, with, with the gas station. I'm going to have to ask you to stop recording. And we're like, oh, boy. I f like, my heart sank into my stomach, and we're like, yeah, that's okay. And then we stop recording, and then we walk outside, and we're like, man. That was the first time somebody asked us to stop recording, ever. <laughs> uh, and in public. And how did it feel? It felt like a little a bandit <laughs> ripped out. <laughs> we're like, fine. How did it feel, Fonzie? <laughs> I don't know. Personally, I think it didn't feel that bad. I've you, always you been... You were not the one recording. <laughs> yeah, I was the one recording you, actually. <laughs> you I was the, ca the, the cameraman at that moment, which I feel more comfortable from. You know, I feel more comfortable recording somebody else than recording myself. Mm. And I'm going to have to explore why do I feel that way. Yeah. But I, you know, when she came and she was like, hey, you guys cannot record here. It actually didn't feel that bad. I was like, okay, well, thank you. <laughs> and actually, she was pretty polite yeah, about she it. Was pretty polite. You know, and you can, with edits, you can make it look however you want. And as clickbaity, and you can make this moment as clickbaity <laughs> as you can, as, as you want. But yeah. actually, she was super nice about it. Yeah. Just like, sorry, you guys cannot film here. Okay. Thank you so much. And then we just moved on and went on with our days. And it didn't feel that bad at all. It's like, wow. Kind of like dealing with rejection. Once you feel it, one, once you experience it one way, like most people are nice about things, yeah. you know, so they're not going to be just rude and come at you and whatever, insult you or ridicule you. This lady just was doing her job yeah. and she yeah. said, sorry, guys, you cannot do this as a policy. And we just stop what we're yeah. doing. Still got the milkshake. <laughs> <laughs> it was and, delicious. Yeah, I've moved on with her yeah. day, right? And now it makes for a great story that we're sharing on the podcast, right? So, you know, with, with that said, obviously, um, the, the fact that it was the first time, that's probably going to be your highest friction moment when you're trying to do something new. And we, with the people that we talk every single day from the community, the people that we work with, um, even on the show, that is one of the most common things mm -hmm. that come to mind. Like, even... A lot of people are very fearful, right, and including us at the very beginning to talk to this camera, right, and put our message out to the world, right? Now we're leveling up in a sense of, like, the medium and the place that we're actually going to be doing these things, and the interviews are out in public, like, in the wild, right? We met with Amazing Brandy, and that's going to be coming to the YouTube channel. She created this amazing product for horses and humans beings that are is healing. And humans beings. Humans beings. <laughs> Human <laughs> beings. And it is healing a lot of people and a lot of animals, right? And, the, and her message is very powerful. So that was the interview that we did for for that trip. and uh, But we were able to document this whole experience and just create a really cool environment to do so. So um, very quick before we head out. Yeah, so the, much of an update here. I know the last. Just uh, do the full episode at this point. Well, it is a full episode. It's just not an update, <laughs> in, including an update. Uh, but the last night, right? We were uh, at this event, which we'll tell you in the next episode. But we spoke with uh, Mark, who's uh, who makes music for Hollywood studio films, and his story is pretty interesting. And uh, as we're wrapping up, we're gonna go to a, we're gonna go play soccer. <laughs> and I grab the camera, and he immediately, as soon as I grab the camera with the tripod, he's like, "Oh my gosh, you have this thing!" And I also have a camera. I have like he starts naming all the technical things that his camera did, and I know nothing of that. I'm like, "Fancy, do the setup," and <laughs> I just hit the red button. Um, and I was like, "Dude, that's amazing!" So he's like, "How do you?" How do you actually go out and re record in public? I always bring it to me in my suitcase, but I don't get it out and I do not record. And then we had these amazing conversations around fear and uh, we just share that story with him. I'm like, okay, the first exercise is to grab your camera and walk outside with your camera in your hand, like, you know, without recording even. <laughs> just walk outside, be comfortable with that. And then maybe that's the first day, right? And uh, he identified that for him, uh, if he knew people around him, and uh, oh, he worked with people, it's fine. Like, he, he was very comfortable doing that. It was in a different environment when he knew nobody. So identifying, like, what's causing that, right? And then kind of tackling head on if that's what you want to do with content. That's interesting because I feel like sometimes the fear is actually doing it around the people that you know. Yeah, it's opposite of yours, huh? 
Well, I mean, mine is both. Mine is recording in public <laughs> with people I don't know. It's your fear. And then, or recording in public with people I know. And yeah. I feel that is, again, obviously, I shouldn't care what other people think. Yeah. But in your mind, you have an identity with which other people look at you. And you're like, oh, this is something different that I usually don't do. Right? What are they going to think? Like you, I feel like you get in your mind. Yeah. And then you put all these roadblocks to take action. When in reality... Honestly, that circle where we move on, that that they all believe in content, they all record, so they would be more than okay. <laughs> it would be super exciting for them, and they would be honestly cheering yeah. for you as well. Yeah. So it's interesting to think that some people can do it in their circles, but not in front of strangers. Some people prefer to do it around strangers because they're like, oh, they don't know me, but I'm not going to do it around my circle because, you know, I have this specific identity yeah. or vice versa or somebody can do it you know in front of everybody <laughs> so it's very interesting right and i yeah. think it's a good exercise to step outside of your comfort zone which is where growth is at the end of the day absolutely honestly that was a good reflection it was a good yeah, i'm gonna I clip like that i recorded it i got Ooh, this little little controller right here i'm gonna <laughs> we're, we're testing clip it. different ways to create and um, produce and move things out there so if you guys have any questions on how to do this kind of stuff and uh, if you want to move your publishing forward if you want to build that six-figure platform right that we talk about every single day just send us a quick dm at beast rusco or to our personal profiles luis camejo one of us is going to show up orange background or both amazing face uh the beer the beer <laughs> face is more handsome that's fancy uh but anyways i think i think that was good uh next episode we're gonna share what we actually shared in that mastermind with somebody that wanted to launch a podcast so a lot of interesting questions that came out of that and we're gonna share what we said so anything else fancy oh uh, yeah this episode went sideways totally not what i was <laughs> expecting i thought i was like oh this is gonna be a quick update and then he just rambled the whole time but it was valuable it was pretty good thank you for it tuning is in 17 minutes that's very quick compared to what we do it yeah, it, it was it was, it was, it was my good. bad. I failed to communicate no, 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 my not, idea. I'm not criticizing. I'm saying it was pretty good. It was valuable. And if you enjoy it, make sure you share some love with my brother here. Be like, Luisa, <laughs> I support me. your choice <laughs> of, you know, derailing from the entire sh show plan. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, guys, with that said, thank you so much for tuning into the Content Profit Podcast. Go ahead and follow the show in your favorite podcasting platform mm -hmm. and on social media at Beast Bros Co. That is right. If today's episode helped you move one step closer towards your goal, please don't forget to share this episode and and leave a five-star review and download all the episodes to listen to them. All Let's of them. Let's go. All of them. <laughs> Bye, guys.